just a great insect and fly pattern in this episode. This larva is found in cold streams of North America, Europe, and Asia. This pattern can easily be adapted to the particular species in your water by substituting the materials that you have on hand. Looking quickly at the caddis life cycle, there are three different entomologies. This video will tie the free living caddis larva. This trichoptera is in the Reactophilidae family. This is the only family that have no protective home. They are the only predators and they're everywhere in cold running water in the Northern Hemisphere. So it is a must, no matter where you live, to have these in your fly box. For this fly, I like to use a curved hook, like the Diachi 1870. But if you don't have that, you can take a streamer hook and bend it to the shape that you like. Now let's put on some eyes before we get started with our fly. As you can see, I've already got the nymph eyes on there and I've painted them black with nail polish. Now we're gonna start our fly with a size 12, three extra long hook. Now this is a standard nymph hook that I bent to shape instead of using the Diachi 1870 or 1770. We'll start with a 70 denier olive caddis green thread and work our way back clear to the bend of the hook. Take a half a strand of caddis green antron. We're gonna mount that here in the back. Come up underneath, place it where we want it, make a few wraps, pull it so we don't have to cut it there and we'll wrap that to the eye of the hook. Take a piece of clear vinyl rib. Now this is the nymph size. Place that on the top of the hook. I did not have green, so I'm going to use the uh, clear, and that just will take on color of our dubbing. And we'll work with that back to the bend of the hook again. Take some caddis green dubbing, and this is Antron and Rabbit mixed together. take off pieces and cut these into lengths of like three to four millimeters. So we'll just take a bunch and just cut those up. So I've got just enough here. And we'll make a tiny little rope for our abdomen. We're gonna counter wrap with our clear vinyl Pulling it tight and leaving just a small amount of space between the wraps. These are very distinctive. Now take a dubbing brush and I have uh, I just use a piece of Velcro on a popsicle stick. We're just going to get those rabbit fibers out of there. So clip off some of the long ones, but you can see that we now have some gills. They're very subtle, but they are there. Now I do not have a, a caddis green uh, wire, so I'm using a olive wire, and you want to mount this underneath. Now, I normally don't mount my material underneath, but I want to bring this around so its first wrap will be a segment of the thorax on top. So I'm going to tie that in. Now, we're going to take a small piece of our olive chewy skin, and I'm going to cut it just a little bit wider, maybe a couple mils or more. Here's a little piece here. I'm gonna mount that with the shiny side down. Now Chewy Skin likes to wrap around the hook, so we'll make a little loop and we'll pull down on it. We wanna make sure that that sits right on the top. Just like that. Let's pull it forward, see if it's back far enough. We'll go just a little bit more.
Let's just get rid of some of this bulk here from that thing. Pick some of uh, the Caddis Green dubbing. This is Rabbit and Antron, and you don't have to cut this. In fact, we don't want to cut this because we're going to pick out things for our legs. So make a small little rope here. So we want to come up and we want to go in between the eyes and back in between the eyes and then over the top and then we're going to stop right there. Clean this up a little bit before we pull our thin skin over. Now we're going to bring our thin, our, we're going to pull our chewy skin over between the eyes. Hold it right there. Make a loose wrap. Make sure you get that chewy skin right where you want it. Pull it a little, a little bit tight. It doesn't have to be too tight. Make another wrap. Let's take another look at it. I'll hold it. It'll look like that. Give it a good pull so it stretches. Not too much that it'll stretch itself out from underneath there. But there you go. So you got a little bit there. And we're going to tie that in. So we mounted our wire underneath so we can come up underneath and around and have our first segment of the thorax. Come underneath again, right behind our eyes, we'll have our next segment. And then we're just going to come up underneath between our eyes and we're going to tie that off. You can see we have our three segments on the top. And then we're going to secure this wire. We'll helicopter it off. Save our work real quick with a half hitch. See the three segments on the thorax look really good. Now we're just going to build up a small little head here. We'll do a whip finish. Cut our tail. Not too long. Yeah. Okay, Granny's hat pin. I'm going to poke out a few legs, pick out a few legs. There's some already sticking out. And some head cement, and we are done.